This is my review of the MacBook Pro M4 Max. Um, it's so good and it's so fast that it's actually been able to convert a Windows user into a MacBook Pro user. Um, and I don't think I'm going back. So let's see the specs. So if you're in the store and you're watching this video like I usually do when I'm trying to actually buy a product, uh, this review is perfect for you. Um, basically, I'm going to focus on my use, my use cases, uh, the pros and then the cons. I'm going to keep it as simple as possible and as as, as quick as I can as well. Um, so let's let's get to it. So specifically for my use cases, uh, I primarily wanted to use this guy just for flexibility when editing uh, videos, obviously, right? Like if you're out on the road um, or on an airplane, stuck on the airplane, you can hop on Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro actually and just start editing videos and then quickly turn it right, right back out with the uh, processor and, and memory speed that you have on this computer. Um, so next after that, uh, gaming. Uh, Obviously, right now, a lot of people are aware that MacBooks are not really heavily um, or a lot of games aren't really designed for. Uh, but you have some native games that are actually starting to come out now. Uh, one that comes to mind is Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, but there are people out there who are using Crossover, which actually allows you to kind of emulate a Windows PC. Um, and I'll link the video here. Uh, specifically, uh, Andrew Syke actually goes through um, a bunch of different games using a uh, crossover uh but obviously it's not native but it works really really well uh from some of the testing that i did on my own but that's good enough to kind of get you in the game uh, so my next use case form factor uh i really like 14 inches they're perfect uh i was really happy with the 14 inch that i had when i actually was going to college um and what was nice about it was that it didn't feel super heavy in my backpack and actually sitting it on a desk didn't take up a whole lot of space uh, so it's just a perfect size for me so the form factor was really 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 great um and the last thing is just portability obviously right like which kind of plays a little bit into form factor right so if you have a 14 inch uh computer you know it's really really light you can toss it in your backpack bring it anywhere use it on an airplane use it in class that was really really important to me so let's talk about what's great um what's great about it is uh it's a great screen for when you're on the go right like if you're sitting on an airplane um that's what macbooks are known for having like really really good looking screens uh xdr retina display um, it's great for if you want to watch a movie while you're on the airplane and the next great thing is uh, a polished arm uh silicon uh you know you have really really fast memory and a really powerful chip you know all in one um that was really important when comparing it to to windows uh laptops that i was actually shopping for um just the performance of that ram was really important especially if i wanted to do editing on the go which leads me into my next point uh was the uh editing um obviously which i said was one of my use cases uh this thing just edits videos really smoothly really quickly um it's mostly on the back end when you're actually rendering it right like when you're actually trying to get your output it comes out really quickly and, and it doesn't eat up a whole lot of memory like you think it would uh even though technically i have like a 3090 on my desktop computer my 3090 on my desktop computer can't can't render nearly as fast as this laptop so the next uh great thing about it was uh it's good for gaming uh, again i mentioned like native versus uh using crossover um I haven't seen a big difference, you know, but you could check out, like I said before, Andrew Sy's page is a really good one, which is a good reason why I actually ended up buying a MacBook laptop uh, because I felt like it would be decent for gaming. But the crossover works well, but then, you know, a lot of people are actually starting to develop their games specifically for, for Mac, Mac system. Uh, the next great thing about it is, uh, or the next two, I guess, is uh, battery life and durability. Uh, sometimes you may not want to have to pull out your, your plug and plug it in. Um, it's nice just to be able to have that 24 hours of playback and durability. Uh, specifically, when I talk about durability, uh, I'm talking about um, looking into reviews for the M3 MacBook Pro that I originally had. I saw that people were still using their M1s and M2s, uh, which is two years later, right, for the M1s. I was really impressed by that. So the fact that people were still using their laptops and they said that they still had a lot of speed and a lot of power. But basically, if I could use the M4 for another three years and not have a lot of issues, uh, then the price of the computer actually pays itself off, which 
I wouldn't say puts it in a great column. That's in a negative column, but we'll talk about that next. So the not so great, um, the first thing was it didn't have a lot of native games. Uh, that may not even be a big issue for some people, but um, it's just kind of nice to actually just be able to open up Steam and just load up your game. I'm okay with actually making a purchase of crossover. It's just having native game and just being able to open up Steam and just run it or, or you know, or just open up the game directly is, is really, really nice. The biggest reason why it took me so long to switch over to Max is because uh, the cost of everything, uh, uh, even just the clean my Mac, right? Like that has a cost, an upfront cost just to have that as well. Um, not a lot of free software, not a lot of free apps, uh, free, free good software and free good apps, right? Like what you'll get with like a PC pretty much at any point in time, but it's not a lot out there. And, that, and that's kind of a big one for a lot of people. Um, so the last two things kind of go hand in hand. Uh, it's a closed system, right? Like when you use a Mac, it's Everything is pretty much built uh, specifically for the Mac uh, and most of the best software for it is built for it. Although Premiere Pro, I think is as good as uh, Final Cut Pro. Uh, but yeah, closed system and the lack of upgrade, right? Like uh, being able to upgrade your drive or, you know, or upgrade uh, your RAM or anything like that after you purchase it is kind of, it's kind of an issue. But I mean, that, that was kind of the reason why I think I went with the M4 Max was just because it was so powerful that if I was gonna keep it for the next three years, then at least it, you know, I won't need to worry about having the upgrade. Just as long as I can keep uh, the software on there clean, we should be good to go. So I wouldn't have to worry about that. But overall, like, um, you know, the, the MacBook has been really, really great. Like I said, I have an M3 Pro, which I recently gave to my daughter um, and upgraded to the M4 just because it's just such an impressive uh, laptop and it kind of filled a lot of needs. But it's an insanely fast laptop and it's very very good uh, with very very low downside um but i definitely would recommend picking one up uh no matter what type of laptop you like to use it's just a really great pc but thank you for watching tv tech and hope you join me for the next review